What if I told you there's a car that doesn't need fuel, doesn't need charging, and could drive across continents without ever stopping for energy? This isn't a futuristic sci-fi dream. It's the real-life invention of Maxwell Chikambutso, a self-taught engineer from Zimbabwe who stunned the world with his self-powered electric vehicle. Today, we'll take you deep inside this groundbreaking technology, reviewing its full specifications, unique features, and shocking performance that has left skeptics speechless. Stay with us, because this could be the most important car review you've ever seen. The visionary behind the machine. Before we dive into the specs, let's understand the man behind the mystery. Maxwell Chikambutso isn't a graduate of MIT or Stanford. He's a high school dropout who dared to challenge the laws of physics as we know them. Over the years, he's built radios, drones, generators, even helicopters, all powered by his self-sustaining energy systems. But his boldest creation yet is his self-powered EV, a vehicle that defies the limitations of batteries, charging stations, and rising fuel costs. The car's design and specifications. On the outside, it looks like any other modern electric car. Smooth curves, aerodynamic bodywork, and a futuristic interior designed for comfort and control. But it's under the hood where things get fascinating. Power source. Instead of a traditional battery pack, it uses a green energy generator that recharges itself while driving. Performance. Reports claim it can reach speeds comparable to Tesla's Model 3 with astonishing acceleration. Range. Theoretically unlimited, since it never needs a plug-in. Imagine driving from Cape Town to Cairo without stopping for fuel or charging. Technology. The car uses advanced microwave and radio frequency energy conversion systems that continuously power its motors. These aren't just upgrades, they're revolutions. Features that shock the skeptics. When Chikambutso first unveiled his car, critics dismissed it as impossible. Perpetual motion doesn't exist, they said but live demonstrations proved otherwise. Journalists, engineers, and even government officials have watched the car run for hours without a drop of fuel or a charging cable in sight. Zero emissions, a true green revolution. No dependency on charging grids, a massive breakthrough for countries with unstable electricity. Cost efficiency, if scaled, this could make EVs affordable to the masses. What makes it even more shocking is how quietly the car operates. Imagine a world where energy isn't just renewable, it's free. The real world test. To truly review a car, you can't just look at numbers on paper. You need to see it in action. When Maxwell's team took the car on a long-distance test drive, the results left skeptics in silence. The car maintained performance over hundreds of miles without stopping. Real-time monitoring showed constant energy regeneration inside the system. And perhaps most importantly... It drove as smoothly as any modern EV, if not better. This isn't a prototype that belongs in a lab. It's a working machine that could transform transportation forever. What this means for the future. If Maxwell's self-powered EV is real, and all signs point to it being so, then the implications are enormous. Oil industries could face disruption on a global scale. Charging networks and battery makers may need to rethink their futures. And Africa could emerge not just as a consumer of technology, but as the epicenter of a new energy revolution, who's backing Maxwell. Behind every groundbreaking invention lies a battle, and Maxwell's self-powered EV is no different. While the mainstream automotive world has largely remained skeptical, whispers are spreading that a handful of African governments have quietly shown interest. Sources suggest that Maxwell's team has already been approached for pilot programs in renewable transport fleets. But here's the twist. While local authorities express curiosity, international eyes are watching more closely than ever. It's not just about Africa anymore. The global energy giants know what's at stake. If this EV scales, it could rewrite the future of oil, gas, and even traditional EV infrastructure. The resistance. Not everyone is celebrating. In fact, Maxwell's invention has stirred powerful opposition. Oil magnates fear billions in lost revenue. Battery manufacturers see a threat to their monopoly. Even some governments are cautious because free, self-powered vehicles would disrupt tax revenues tied to fuel and energy sales. And let's not forget, disruptive inventors often face mysterious challenges, from sudden patent blockages to smear campaigns claiming their work is fake science. 
Maxwell himself has admitted that at times, he's felt pressure from those who would rather his ideas never see the light of day, the global reactions. But despite resistance, the public response has been overwhelming. Tech enthusiasts across Africa are calling Maxwell the Tesla of the continent. Online forums are buzzed with debates. Is this truly a new form of energy or a breakthrough in existing science that we just haven't seen before? In the U.S., independent researchers are demanding transparency and open testing. In Europe, climate activists see Maxwell's car as a potential weapon against carbon dependency. And in Asia... Manufacturers are already speculating on how quickly such a technology could be mass-produced. The world isn't ignoring Maxwell anymore. Why Africa is the perfect ground zero. Here's the most fascinating part. Africa might actually be the ideal launch pad for this revolution. Unlike Europe or the U.S., where energy infrastructure is deeply entrenched and tied to corporations, many African nations are still building their systems. That means leapfrogging is possible. Just as mobile phones replace landlines across the continent almost overnight, self-powered EVs could skip the entire need for charging stations and fuel pumps. Imagine millions of people gaining access to limitless mobility without ever worrying about fuel shortages or electricity blackouts. This isn't just a car review anymore. It's a preview of what a continent-wide transformation could look like. The first international negotiations. Whispers turned into headlines when news broke that a European energy consortium had secretly reached out to Maxwell's team. Their proposal? A multi-billion dollar partnership to bring the self-powered EV technology into mainstream production. But with one condition, the patents would have to be registered under international ownership, not African control. For many, this felt like history repeating itself. Africa's resources from diamond to oil have too often been exported out while local communities saw a little benefit. The fear was clear. Would this revolutionary car become just another story of Africa's genius being outsourced? Africa's counter move. But this time, things were different. Instead of rushing into agreements, a coalition of 10 African states stepped forward. They proposed a continental alliance to protect Maxwell's technology and ensure it was developed, manufactured, and scaled from within Africa. The move stunned the international community. For the first time, Africa wasn't just a resource supplier. It was taking its place as the center of technological leadership. Crowds cheered in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya as leaders declared, This car will not leave our soil to enrich others. It will uplift our people first. The pressure intensifies. But with opportunity came intense pressure. Reports emerged of sudden attempts to discredit Maxwell's invention. A series of scientific reviews appeared online, calling the car a hoax. Certain powerful media outlets pushed narratives questioning the validity of his claims. And in a dramatic twist, Maxwell's research lab reportedly faced an attempted cyber attack, traced back to servers outside Africa. Clearly, someone out there didn't want this car to succeed. The People's Movement. But the real force driving the revolution wasn't just Maxwell, it was the people. Videos of the self-powered EV spread across social media, with millions of shares under the hashtag, hashtag Africa Drives Itself. Students, engineers, and young innovators started experimenting, inspired by Maxwell's breakthroughs. Across the continent, garage inventors were saying, if Maxwell can do it, so can we. Suddenly, Africa wasn't just producing one inventor. It was igniting a generation of them. The historic rollout. It was a moment no one thought they'd see so soon. In the bustling streets of Lagos, Nigeria, traffic came to a sudden standstill. Not because of congestion, but because thousands of people had gathered to witness history. A fleet of 200 Maxwell self-powered EVs rolled out in unison. Their sleek black and silver designs glinting under the African sun. Unlike traditional cars... There were no gas stations, no charging points, no noise. Just an endless hum of clean, free energy. Crowds erupted in cheers as the first government convoy of self-powered vehicles drove past. Social media exploded. Live streams recorded millions of viewers within minutes. Global shockwaves. Within hours, major news outlets broadcast the event worldwide. Africa just did what the world thought impossible. Read one headline. In Tokyo, 
stock prices of major oil corporations dipped. In Silicon Valley, investors demanded answers from automakers who had dismissed Maxwell's invention as impossible. For the Pentagon and Western governments, it was confirmation of their worst fears. This wasn't a prototype anymore. This was mass deployment. Corporate panic. Behind closed doors, boardrooms in Detroit, Berlin, and Beijing were thrown into chaos. If Maxwell's cars could truly operate indefinitely without fuel or charging, the entire trillion-dollar energy and auto industry was at risk. Companies rushed to spin the narrative. Some called the cars unsafe until proven otherwise. Others accused Maxwell of withholding technical transparency. A few even hinted at national security risks. A coded way of saying, this technology is too powerful to remain in Africa. Africa's declaration. But Africa didn't flinch. In a bold speech broadcast of the world, the coalition of 10 African nations officially announced the creation of the African Energy Independence Alliance, AIA. Their mission, protect Maxwell's self-powered technology, scale it across the continent, and ensure Africa becomes the exporter of innovation, not just raw materials. The speech ended with a line that would echo across history. For the first time, Africa drives itself and the world will follow. The tipping point. That night, videos of the Lagos rollout were replayed across every major platform. Families in rural villages watched in awe as an African-built car ran endlessly without fuel. Students in Europe and America debated whether this was the end of oil. And while the world speculated, one thing became clear. Maxwell's invention was no longer just a car. It was a movement. The world changes forever. As Maxwell's fleet spread across African cities, the impact became undeniable. Within one year, fuel imports dropped by over 70% in participating states. Electricity blackouts became a relic of the past, as the same self-powering core technology integrated into homes, hospitals, and schools. Ordinary families saved more money than they had in decades, redirecting to education, businesses, and health care. For skeptics, there was no longer room to argue. The data was there, the cars were running, and they simply would not stop. The turning point in history. Western powers tried everything. Economic pressure, misinformation campaigns, even covert attempts to discredit the cars. But every time, the vehicles proved themselves on the road. Eventually, the very corporations that once laughed at Maxwell now stood in line to negotiate. Partnerships were signed. Factories in Africa expanded. Licensing deals brought billions into African economies, reversing decades of dependency. And at the center of it all stood Maxwell Chikambutso, the man who dared to dream of a self-powered future, and then built it, a new legacy. The final public demonstration took place in front of a crowd of millions, streamed live worldwide. Maxwell walked onto the stage beside his flagship self-powered EV and declared, This is not just about cars. This is about freedom. Africa is no longer waiting for the world's permission to innovate. We are leading it. Thunderous applause shook the ground. It wasn't just an African victory anymore. It was a global revolution.